Okay, so here lately I wanted to become a more of a tea and coffee connoisseur. So I have gotten a espresso machine that I absolutely love. And uh, I've been diving more into the tea world as well because I'm a huge fan of chai. Love chai lattes, love dirty chai lattes. I got on Amazon and I ordered a tea set. It was super inexpensive. I think I spent like 40 bucks on it. And there were reviews that said, oh, it's really small and this and that, but it's just, it matched the decor that I really wanted. So I bought it anyway. I did scour like YouTube to see if anybody had any videos or reviews out here about this tea set company. Um, I can't remember what it is, but I'm sure it'll say on the box. So let's go ahead and just open it up. I'm a little nervous. If it's the size of my Japanese teapot, this one here, if it's the size of that, I'll be happy. This is fine. There's only two of us. I'm really the only one that drinks the chai, so I, I just, I would like to be able to brew it in this or something of this size, and then I'll put it in a craft into my refrigerator. And then that way I can just add it to some espresso in the morning or have it in the afternoon. So um, apparently I opened this upside down or they packed it upside down, or maybe not, I don't know. They literally put it in a box that fit, that it like perfectly fit in. Okay, it is upside down. All right, so let's see. So for those of you that are wondering um, what this tea set is all about, maybe this will give you a good idea. It's a six piece set, here it is. I think it's Time Time Tea Time? I don't know if you can see that, Time Tea Time. Uh, this is their, one of their ceramic tea sets. It's a six piece set. It comes with a, um, a tea kettle, four cups, and a serving tray, which is all really fun. It is made in China. See the box here, it says, not suitable for use on gas hob. I don't really know what that means. Um, not suitable for use on induction hob. So I'm assuming this is like on the stove. You can't use it on the stove. Um, it is not oven safe. It is not microwave safe. It's also not suitable for the dishwasher, which I would like to point out that their Amazon listing said it, that it was, but that's fine. Luckily, it is food contact safe, you know, because it's a teacup. Anywho, simple box, nothing much on it. Oh, I'm so nervous. I hope it's not super small. So let's see. Okay. Ooh, ooh. This uh, actually, it's kind of small. <laughs> it's kind of small. I mean, I feel like I have a mug this size, but for what I want, it'll probably, I think it's 25, it does 25 fluid ounces. I'm sure it'll be all right. It's cute, love it. So let's see, this is the kettle. Or the pot. Excuse me, the teapot. Uh, I hope there's a lid in here somewhere because I don't see one. Um, and the, the cups are actually really cute. I really like those. They're very small as well. They hold 7.6 ounces, fluid ounces over here. So there's four of these bad boys in here. Beautiful set though. Like I really like that set. Ah, thank goodness. And here's the lid. It is a full acacia, acacia, acacia. I don't know how to say it, but it's that wood that everybody's raving about right now, including myself. I have that over at my tea bar over there. Um, my coffee and tea bar has a lot of acacia woods. It's very durable. <laughs> uh, cool. Oh my God, my heart stopped. Okay, so it's uh, very durable. I think uh, I might've just chipped it a little bit. Perhaps, my bad, but you know what? It's okay. I don't know if it's supposed to be able to fill up four of these or not, but. All right, and then lastly, I better not drop this because this, I'm sure this will break. So lastly, we've got our tray. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> my luck, I'd snap this thing in half. Like a bowl in a china shop. <gasps> See, look, I shouldn't have nice things. So I think maybe these are some extra screws would be my guess, possibly. Uh, not 100% sure about that, but. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, it's so cute. So here's the serving tray. And of course you could put your tea and everything right on here. You know, if you have, if you have a tea party, which I have yet to have. But it seems pretty nice. See, there's screws in it all. Ah. Okay, maybe that screw needs replaced because it's sharp. So let's go to some B-roll shots. I did also forget to add that there is a really nice infuser that came with it here. If it'll focus, we'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but it says that it is very fine mesh, which it very clearly is compared to some of the other infusers that I have. Um, so it is supposed to keep it from particles from falling into your tea. So that's pretty cool. So that did come with it. Come on. There we go. I think I've got my chai tea right here. See, acacia lid. <laughs> this one has a seal though, which is really nice. So they say about one teaspoon per person. I'm gonna say four then, cause there's four cups. We'll see how that goes. And this is a vanilla chai. It is made with a black tea, so it can be brewed for a long time. Okay, so we're just pouring this in slowly. Just to, you like how they match? Kinda. This one's gray and white. Black, gray and white. This one is white and gold. But I just, I'm obsessed with marble. I just, it's so pretty. <laughs> I spilled again. I'm gonna cover it with the lid and just let it steep for like four to five minutes. This is like the worst part is waiting for the tea to steep. Also got this on Amazon, isn't it pretty? So pretty. Guess while I wait, I can clean up my mess over here. The handle still feels really cool, so that's that's good. Half of this is gonna be milk anyway. Gosh, I'm so impatient. Hey Siri, how much time is left? Oh, almost there. All right, timer's up. Hey Siri, stop timer. Cool. I do have this sweet, cute little matching sugar bowl too. See, I bought these beforehand and this is what inspired me to get them. So it came with a, came with the um, acacia lid, acacia lid, acacia lid, however you say it. Acacia lid and a spoon. So this is just a sweetener. I'm gonna do two scoops per cup, which I would love to get some sugar cubes. Last time I did not do the sugar first. And the steam from the cup was um, condensating on the spoon, which was getting the sugar to stick to the spoon and it was just a big mess. So do your sweetener first. Oh, that pours nicely. We're gonna go about, oh, no, I don't like that. It tends to, when you stop pouring, you get a little drip, see that? We'll see it here. We pour, about halfway, watch, drip. Don't really care for that. I hope this doesn't stain. Now they do have it in black also. I'd read a review that they said that if you left it in the cup, they said overnight, but I don't know why you would leave tea in a cup overnight on purpose anyway, um, that it did stain their, their tea cups. And I'm just thinking, oh, Maybe I should have ordered the black and gold one. I actually really enjoy this, um, except for like the little the little drippies and the, but I mean, that's four cups of tea and it all fits on this nice little marble tray that's super, super cute. And if you see a creamer container that looks like this, I would freaking love that. I could not find one for the life of me. I'm just gonna take a little creamer. Now, before y'all come at me about how chai tea is supposed to be made. I know you're supposed to put it in milk and boil it in milk, but I have this super convenient thing, so I'm okay doing it in water. And if you don't like that, that's totally fine. It's good. Maybe I will drink all four cups. <laughs> I hope that you found this review to be helpful um, because I didn't see anything on this tea set on YouTube 
like I said earlier, and I just thought maybe I could help someone out. So let me know in the comments what your favorite kind of tea is. I love to expand my experience with tea and coffee. All right, until next time, thanks for tuning in.